we want to look at the law of constant composition. If you recall, the, the definition says all samples of a given compound have the same proportions of their constituent elements. And you're thinking to yourself, what in the heck does that mean? Let's go over an example to help explain what that means. I'm going to have these two equations. And as you'll notice, they are equations for the same compound. I haven't done anything different. You have to compare like things when you're talking about this law. Now, if you recall, in the definition, it indicated proportions. So we want to look at the proportions in each equation. Well, I have oxygen and I have carbon, so I want to find the proportion of oxygen to carbon. And then you'll use your calculator to solve these. Now, what you want to do is you want to compare and determine if these two answers are relatively the same. Are they just about equal? And the answer in this one is yes. So these two equations do follow the law of constant composition.